It's Now Again. Welcome back to It's Now Again, the podcast where we explore mindfulness practices from a secular, evidence-based perspective. I'm your host, Jeremy West, and today we're diving into a topic that's at the heart of our human experience, emotions. Our emotions can be powerful, sometimes overwhelming, and often difficult to navigate. But with mindfulness, we can learn to understand, process, and respond to our emotions in a healthy and balanced way. Let's explore how to bring mindfulness to our emotional lives. Emotions are a natural part of being human. They give color to our experiences, guide our decisions, and connect us with others. But they can also be challenging. When we're not mindful, our emotions can easily take control, leading to reactions that we might later regret. Whether it's anger, sadness, fear, or even joy, emotions have a way of pulling us out of the present moment and into a whirlwind of thoughts and feelings. Mindfulness offers us a way to navigate this inner landscape with greater awareness, acceptance, and compassion. By practicing mindfulness, we can learn to observe our emotions without getting swept away by them, allowing us to respond to life's challenges with clarity and calm. One of the key practices in mindfulness is learning to observe our emotions without judgment. This means noticing the emotion as it arises, identifying it, and acknowledging it without labeling it as good or bad. It's about creating a space between the emotion and our reaction to it. When you feel an emotion arising, take a moment to pause. Notice where you feel the emotion in your body. Is it in your chest, your stomach, your throat? What does it feel like? Is it tight, heavy, warm, or cool? By focusing on the physical sensations of the emotion, you can anchor yourself in the present moment and avoid getting lost in the stories your mind might create around it. Mindfulness teaches us to respond to our emotions rather than react to them. Reacting is often automatic and driven by the emotion itself, like snapping at someone when you're angry or withdrawing when you're sad. These reactions are usually unconscious and can lead to more suffering, both for ourselves and others. Responding, on the other hand, is a conscious choice. It involves recognizing the emotion, pausing to consider your options, and then choosing a response that aligns with your values and the situation. For example, instead of reacting with anger, you might choose to take a few deep breaths, acknowledge your feelings, and then communicate your needs calmly and assertively. This practice of responding rather than reacting can lead to healthier relationships, better decision-making, and a greater sense of inner peace. To illustrate the power of mindfulness in dealing with emotions, I want to share a Buddhist parable known as the Parable of the Two Arrows. In this story, the Buddha explains that when we experience a painful event, it's as if we've been struck by an arrow. This first arrow represents the unavoidable pain or discomfort that is part of life. However, what often happens is that we add a second arrow, our reaction to the pain, which can include anger, fear, self-criticism, or anxiety. This second arrow is not inevitable, but it's something we create ourselves, and it often causes even more suffering than the first. Mindfulness helps us to stop shooting that second arrow. By being present with our emotions and accepting them as they are, we can avoid the additional suffering that comes from reacting impulsively or resisting what we're feeling. Instead, we can respond with awareness and compassion, allowing the emotion to pass without causing unnecessary harm. Here are some practical techniques to help you navigate your emotions mindfully. One, name the emotion. One of the simplest but most effective mindfulness practices is to name the emotion you're feeling, simply saying to yourself, this is anger, or this is sadness, can help create a space between you and the emotion, allowing you to observe it rather than to be overwhelmed by it. And then there's the RAIN technique. The RAIN technique is a powerful mindfulness practice for dealing with difficult emotions. It stands for recognize, allow, investigate, and nurture. So first, recognize the emotion you're feeling. That is just saying to yourself, this is sadness. Then allow it to be there without trying to change it. 
Next, investigate the emotion with curiosity. What does it feel like in your body? And finally, nurture yourself with compassion, offering yourself the same kindness you would offer a friend. Next is practicing self-compassion. When we're experiencing difficult emotions, it's easy to be hard on ourselves. But self-compassion is key to navigating emotions mindfully. Remember that it's okay to feel what you're feeling and that you deserve kindness and understanding just like anyone else. Breathe through the emotion. Your breath is one of the most powerful tools for staying grounded in the present moment. When you're feeling overwhelmed by an emotion, take a few deep breaths, focusing on the sensation of the breath entering and leaving your body. This can help calm your nervous system and bring you back to a state of balance. Let go of this story. Often our emotions are fueled by the stories we tell ourselves about what's happening. This always happens to me, or I'm not good enough. Mindfulness teaches us to let go of these stories and focus on the present moment. By staying present, you can experience the emotion without getting caught up in the narrative, allowing it to pass more easily. This doesn't mean that you ignore your feelings or you pretend they don't exist. It means acknowledging them without attaching a story that amplifies the emotional charge. By doing this, you can observe your emotions as they are, temporary and manageable, rather than letting them spiral into something overwhelming. When we bring mindfulness to our emotions, we start to see them for what they truly are, passing experiences that don't define us. This awareness allows us to break free from habitual reactions and instead choose how we want to respond. Over time, this practice can lead to greater emotional resilience, improved relationships, and a deeper sense of inner peace. You may find that by practicing mindfulness, emotions that once felt overwhelming become more manageable. You might notice a decrease in reactivity, a greater ability to pause and reflect, and an increased capacity for compassion, both for yourself and others. These benefits are not just theoretical, they are real, lived experiences that can transform how you navigate the ups and downs of life. In summary, navigating emotions mindfully is about being present with what you're feeling without judgment or resistance. It's about creating space between the emotion and your reaction, allowing you to choose a response that aligns with your values. By practicing mindfulness, you can cultivate a healthier relationship with your emotions, one that leads to greater clarity, compassion, and peace. Remember, Emotions are a natural part of being human. They are not something to be feared or suppressed, but something to be understood and embraced. With mindfulness, you can navigate the inner landscape of your emotions with greater ease and awareness. Thank you for joining me on this episode of It's Now Again. I hope you found these insights into mindful emotion navigation useful. Remember, Emotions are not your enemy. They are an integral part of your human experience. By approaching them with mindfulness, you can transform your relationship with your emotions and cultivate a deeper sense of peace and well-being. If you're interested in going deeper into your mindfulness practice or need personalized guidance, I'm currently offering one-on-one -on -one free strategy sessions where we can explore these topics together and tailor the practice to your unique needs. Visit jeremywest.net for more information. And that while you're there, you can also check out my new Pay What You Want Patreon, where you'll find a growing library of mindfulness practices, including guided meditations. That's jeremywest.net. Until next time, keep practicing, keep growing, and remember, it's now again.